Good morning guys. I am so disappointed because I literally vlogged all week, like all fucking week, and I have no idea what I did with the SD card. I'm hoping it's in my car. I haven't been in my car for a couple of days, but I like, that was supposed to go up last week, and it seems like all my SD cards decided to just stop working in the last 48 hours like all of them broke the little lock and unlock it doesn't matter they just they're all not working and granted i've had these sd cards for a really long time if anything they really did stand the test of time but it was just horrible timing to know that i had had footage that was supposed to go up and now i just have lost all of it but we're starting from scratch <laughs> hello this week is my birthday week i'm turning 29 this oh my god I'm turning 29 this Sunday. Ryan's birthday was just yesterday. Fun fact, our birthdays are exactly one week apart. He was born July 16th, 1994. I was born July 23rd, 1994. I don't really know what I have going on today. I know that I have some videos that I need to film and I need to post one of my brand deals. I got to work with Sun Chips. I just wanted to say, hey, super bummed about losing footage, but excited to have you guys here. It's 10:15 uh, a.m. and I'm super tired and I tweaked my back. Like, I'm super stiff. I don't know how I did it. Sometimes I just sleep the wrong way. This is just a part of aging, it seems like. Yeah, we're gonna get this day started. I need to get some caffeine or something because I feel so sleepy right now. But for now, we're gonna organize this laundry. <sighs> My brain is not working right now. I finally got the Starface patches. I feel like everybody's been talking about them for so long. I have been taking really good care of my skin. I basically took a break because I damaged my skin barrier. The woman that I was getting my facial from took an indefinite leave. Hopefully she's okay, but she basically just had her assistant notify everyone and say like, let them know I'm not taking clients anymore. And so she had actually recommended someone new for us to all go see, but I just was like, I don't know. I just, I was like, my skin's doing great. I don't even really need to do anything. I'll see if I can just manage this myself from home. Yeah, no, um, I started trying way too many exfoliants and next thing you know, so I damaged my skin barrier just from over exfoliation and using too many actives. So if you are using medical grade skincare, make sure you're careful for that because it sucks. It feels like it's never going to get repaired, but really it only takes like two weeks of just being really gentle and loving on your skin. There you go. After I finally got my skin barrier good again, I went and got a facial and I did the Hydra facial. I think if you can afford it as a luxury in your life, treating yourself to a facial once a month by like somebody who really knows what they're doing or even just like look for a place that does Hydra facials and has good reviews. It is so good for your skin. My skin has been so happy ever since. All I did this morning was I rinsed it. I used some of the Tower 28 SOS toner, my vitamin C serum. Okay, this is kind of a lot of stuff, but this is like my morning skincare and then put on one of the star face because I had a little pimple here and I didn't want to pop it and then I put on the PCA skin tinted moisturizer and my skin is so happy and so glowy all I'm really trying to work on now is like just getting rid of dark spots from previous breakouts like right here mm. Kind of it. On the camera, it never looks so bad. Just try to do that and control my clogged pores. And yeah, my skin has been so happy as a result. Also, I know a lot of you guys are close to my age now. And is it just me or is like, okay, I'm sorry, vermicelli. Is it just me or is like, I don't know, is 29 just like kind of an underwhelming age to turn? Because I'm feeling pretty indifferent about it. Like, I don't know, normally I'm super excited about my birthday. I, I do also feel, I was just talking to Ryan about this last night, that with his birthday being before mine, I feel like I'm more fixated on planning his birthday to make sure he has a good day, that I don't end up really focusing on mine. Excuse me, sir, thank you. This year, he didn't really know what he wanted to do, and so I feel like because he didn't really do much, I'm like, well, I feel like I shouldn't do much. And he's like, what are you talking about? That's just how I think, I don't know. I'm like, no, we're, birthday twinsies we have to have the same level of fun and he's like why well, already planned something for you i'm like oh am i a bad girlfriend because i didn't plan anything this year to be fair i tried 
he was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do anything. I'm like, well, what if we did this? He's like, I don't know. So it's like, you know, if he would have been like, yes, plan my birthday, I would have done it. But honestly, Ryan knows this about himself. He can be very antisocial sometimes, like not with me, but with people. Like he's just like, I just don't, we just don't need to do it. So, okay, meow, I'm going to come take you to your table. Tastes good, huh? And it wouldn't be a vlog from me if I didn't say my camera was dying. Which is fine because I'm literally just going to go take my dogs for a walk right now. So nothing really exciting is happening. So I'll check in with you guys probably in about an hour. Or maybe I'll vlog with my phone. I hated that lighting. Or maybe I'll vlog with my phone. I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, we have to, you have to take a nap. You have to go rest and I have to go charge you. moment you've all been waiting for. This is the Way Haul featuring Ryan making a quick high protein dinner from Sprouts. Oh, I was like, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> I went to Way. I wish I would have vlogged while I was there. But I was having a chat with Phoebe and we we're just getting to know each other a little bit more. She was taking me around the entire office. So I was trying to be present. First of all, they gave me Way tennis balls. Their dog, what? their tennis balls for the dogs. No, this is for gaming, bro. They also gave me this little lounge set. I am like obsessed with shorts like this. How cute that is. You're also obsessed with lounging. I am obsessed with lounging. I got the matching sweater. Check it out. Wait. They also gave me some little doggy bandanas, which like now looking at them, they're definitely gonna be too big for the boys, but they are still very cute. Are you ready? There's so much. Baby, first of all, we don't need to buy Aesop soap anymore because oh. they have way hand lotion and hand wash. I'm about to look bougie. I think for now I'll put this in our bathroom and then once we run out of Aesop, then we can put it in the guest bath. I also got some curl cream because your girl's embracing her natural texture. I got this matte pomade. Matte pomade that gives both long and short hair PC texture for that effortlessly cool look. Whoa. Oh, I also got a pet shampoo, which also smells incredible. Hopefully I can use this on the dogs because they do have, especially Duke has sensitive skin, but maybe I can at least use it on prints. Baby, remember you loved this product, the salt and body scrub? Oh, yeah. You used it up. I told them. No, it's a scalp and body scrub. And yeah. I told them, I said, my boyfriend loved this product. One day I checked and it was empty. We got one in the Fragrance St. Bart's and then one in the Melrose Place, which is the one you burned through last time. Oh, they have a perfume in Dean Street. So I, they gave me a bottle of that. I also got an anti-dandruff shampoo. I did also get another detox shampoo, but I remember that they already gave me one. So I let my friend Tab take my big bottle, but I did get a cute little travel size one, which is excellent. Body cleanser, baby, you liked this body cleanser last time too. This isn't a different fragrance, but I remember we both used that body cleanser. You know what else you loved? The thick hair mask. Nice. I got some hair oil and some wave spray, although I did, I also have a full bottle of these, but it's never a bad thing to be fully stocked. And then I got some finishing cream, which I saw Vanessa, who runs the social media, but also like has her own TikTok, use this in her hair to like slick it back in a ponytail. So that could be fun to try. <laughs> and I also got the Melrose Place body cream, which I've heard is so nice. I've just been using Lubriderm. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, well, this is what I will be slathering my body in. It's crazy. Thank you so much, Way. I'm so, so excited for all my goodies. Like, what an amazing day. It's like my birthday gift from Way, even though. You know, they probably don't know it's my birthday, but that's fine. I know, and I'm accepting it as a gift. That's my whole. <laughs> told Ryan that I didn't really feel like having dinner tonight, but he at least is like making sure that we have some protein. So he got these turkey carnitas, which are like already cooked and ready in packages at Sprouts and he heated that up and then just mixed it with some mango salsa. And that's probably what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight because I'm just not feeling super hungry. Ryan and I just had another long night of working on our puzzle. It is 11.30. We have been at this. Baby, how long do you think we've, we worked on the puzzle tonight? Maybe, maybe like four hours. <laughs> okay, so get your nasty little socks out of here. We finished it. It was like 300 pieces and we don't do puzzles much. So we're 
proud, but one, it's way bigger than we thought it would be, and two, we are missing one single piece. Which in my opinion is like, I told Ryan, I was like, that feels like a bad omen. I don't know what that omen is. That has to be a bad omen. It feels like a bad omen to our relationship. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Who backs out on me? Do it. Go, 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 go. Try to get pretty safe. You don't have to drink She's like, this will help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the face. Oh, she's gonna be fucked up. Damn, you really take the peer pressure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Third time's a charm. Take a photo. Take a photo. Wait, not me reenacting the moment. <laughs> you got the cameras on. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> no, say it again. Hey guys, so I'm doing a road trip right now with my boyfriend. Is that what I sound like? You're like this. Hey guys. Um, no, no, it's I'm like... going on a road trip with my boyfriend. You do a lot of that is pretty shit. accurate. Hi guys, today I'm gonna be going on a road trip yeah, with my. Why you do that? Because it's like. Oh, because it's like my professional speaking voice. Yeah, Ryan always says that I don't talk the way I do in person. I think it's better when she just talks normal. It's like, okay, hi, we're going to be going on a road trip to Big Bear um, with Liana and Curtis. We have our bags packed. This is Ryan's, this is Ryan's, and then this is mine. And then we have our Nintendo Switch. This house that we're staying at is insane. Liana and Curtis found it and then managed to get us like a good deal on it. We're not paying much. I think it's like $2.50 a person, which is crazy for a three day weekend. Okay. Oh, is everything okay? I was making sure the cat didn't go in there. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a nice little staycation and I'm going to vlog as much as I can while we're there. Good morning. We are in Big Bear and it is so beautiful. I have a very annoying zit happening on my chin. So we got a little star face. I don't know how I feel about these. I'm curious what you guys think. You're supposed to film this way. Oh, but the lighting won't be as good on me. Oh, should I just dangle myself over the cliff to get the shot? Somebody lost their sled. Are there, what do they call that? Dude, someone's trying to sled out here. Got in yesterday and I didn't vlog and my toxic trait is that I was like, oh, well, guess I'm not vlogging in Big Bear, <laughs> even though we have an entire day and a half packed with activities. But I am also getting a lot of content for like TikTok and Instagram Reels, so if you guys wanna check me out there, you can. I do wanna give you guys a house tour, except we're gonna go get coffee and make breakfast, so I'll probably do it during that time. Ryan, how would you rate your sleep last night, baby? Well, according to my aura ring, it's been the worst sleep I've had. It was so bad, you guys. Look, okay, oh, I'm like farting as I'm fucking. <laughs> what the hell? So, there's multiple levels to this house, but this is our room. Which again, we'll do, I'm not really concerned, but that's there because when I sat on the corner of the bed, yeah, this happened. Okay. Yeah, and this chair is here because we put a fan. A right fan because there is no central air conditioning and or air conditioning at all. So somebody had clearly already broken the leg of this. Oh, they're gone now, huh? Yeah. There was bugs up there too. Somebody had clearly broken the leg of this and then like glued the pieces back together as you can tell here like within seconds of me walking through and sitting there broken so we put that there but overall it just heavily affected our sleep but thankfully there's a third no, it wasn't just that it was like, oh what else was it oh it the was bugs the hot heat. as fuck yeah it was so hot and that curtain right there just had bugs all over it oh it did yeah and they were just flying and like I'm sleeping without my shirt on, and it's just like, I just keep feeling bugs oh all over me. Oh my gosh, baby. I'm like, Fuck. Yeah, I didn't feel it on this side. Then we moved, we have a bathroom right here, we moved into this room. Once we moved to this bunk bed, our sleep was a million times better. Like, still not the best, but substantially better. Now we're gonna get ready to go out, get some coffee, we're going to um, make some breakfast, and then we're gonna go on a boat today, which is gonna be so fun. We're bringing, I brought the pups with me. Let's do it. Vlogging for YouTube and TikTok at the same time is not as stressful well as I make it out to be. But I'm like, what, I'm just supposed to get two shots of everything? Oh, hi, Curtis. <laughs> hey, Curtis. Oh my god, I just hit myself in the face. Dude, I can't vlog around people. This shit is too much for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. here. 
Yeah, it's what's that right there? What about this? There's a lazy Susan right here. Oh. Here. Oh, hours on the boat it was so nice now oh hang on so we just got sandwiches and we're gonna eat dude that sink barely turned on a black oh yeah there's been a lot that has gone wrong in this house i feel like this is a place where like they make it look beautiful but the bones and things of it <clears throat> were rushed or just like not really considered goodness that's ryan's big cajona sandwich and this morning we cooked breakfast and the dishwasher broke and water was flooding out of the bottom of the sink. So hopefully we have a discount coming our way because Ryan and I are sleeping in bunk beds right now. Good thing to do. People, why am I so... Oh. Where's the dog? Duke! On the boat? Duke! Duke? Duke? It's probably downstairs. Might be in that bathroom. Duke! The door is wide open. Oh, I can hear him. Downstairs, no? Duke? Duke, come get sheets. Where was he, babe? No way. How far did he go? Bro, he was all the way at the end of the road. That way. Oh, all yeah. the way. Like I barely saw his Why? tail wagging. What? Yo, I said Duke, and I just saw something stop and go like this. Yo, does. Why? Why is he? Why? Where's he going? He's probably just exploring. Wow. He just gets carried away sniffing. And he's just yeah. left you. Don't even think about his own. He probably would have came back eventually, but... I don't know. Thank you. It's okay. Excuse me. We're playing with real money. So they're we're just playing like, poker like, right oh. now. But we're not playing with real money. Here you go. You can get on that. Thanks, babe. Fifty to see the river. Wow, he calls you. Is that what it is? Yeah. He calls you. <laughs> okay, what will the river give us? Interesting. Who has the five? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah. That well? was hovering over the hundred. <laughs> yeah. Do you call his fifty dollar raise? <gasps> Hit. All right. See ya. Fuck. Wait. Why you say fuck? He he has nothing. Wait. Four, you five, six. You have two pair. I was no. on. I was on a flush and a straight. Oh, you got drop. you got three of a kind. Oh yeah yeah, but three of a kind. <laughs> Dang, was, why did you do that? Because I was in too deep. So you raised him another fifty dollars. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Hey guys, since I failed to do like an Airbnb tour on my camera You're gonna watch the vertical version right now that I posted on TikTok and Instagram and honestly that I'll probably end up posting as like a YouTube short, but it just felt wrong to not include it I don't want you guys to have to like follow me everywhere to see that content. I'm doing this because my hair looks Fucking crazy right now. I feel like I look like a teenage boy or, or cute girl. I don't know. Actually, now it kind of looks cute. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to let that roll at the end and then that's going to be it. Loved hanging out with you guys. We'll finally ba be back to like current content in a video that I'm either going to post this week or next. I kind of might want to start doing two times a week, but let's not get crazy. Let's just be excited that I'm posting it all. I'll see you guys soon and we'll finally be up to date with everything.
We took a very much needed like couples getaway staycation in Big Bear this weekend. This was the Airbnb that we stayed at and I want to say that it was absolutely perfect because when you look at this place like you're just like what could possibly go wrong? A lot. A lot could go wrong. My first five minutes in the house, our bed broke, okay? I'm looking at the room. I'm figuring out which room I'm going to take. And I go to sit down. And when I tell you that the leg literally snaps in half and the bed is now a corner of it is on the ground, I'm like, oh, that's where I'm at in my life right now. I mean, I laughed it off, but obviously it was like, okay, there's only two rooms that actually are like a queen bed set up for a couple, and then there's a room with bunk beds. That is the room that Ryan and I ended up sleeping in. And look, I know we're in the woods. I know we're in the hills. I'm so down with that. Like, that's totally fine. I can handle bugs. There was a camel spider in our bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then there were a bunch of like gnats flying around within our lights and like all throughout the corners of the bathroom. And you could feel them like flying on you, which I have been to Big Bear before. I've stayed in the tried and true old cabins and I've never had that. So that was like kind of not great. There was also no AC and it's hot out there right now. So we were in fact melting. Also, the beds were literally made out of wood. I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe even cement. There was no buoyancy, okay? It was very, very uncomfortable. But the final straw was when we we're doing the dishes and then water started flooding from underneath the sink. Place was beautiful. The company was even better. Big Bear is absolutely amazing, but I would absolutely never stay here again.